Hello, this is Mike Schmitz for Asian Efficiency, and today I want to show you how to set up location-based notifications using contexts in OmniFocus 2 for iPhone. Location-based notifications are great for instantly bringing all your relevant location-based tasks to the top of your OmniFocus task list. You might use location-based notifications to put together a shopping list or defer work-based tasks until you can get back to the office, a practice I have recently adopted to help me leave work at work and be fully engaged when I'm at home with my family. This has revolutionized the way I use OmniFocus and made it much more useful for me. For example, if I think of something work-related I need to do when I'm away from the office, I quick capture the task to my OmniFocus inbox with a context of office and a notification fires when I get to the office the next day. I get it off my mind and into a trusted system, but I don't want to really do anything about the task until I get back to the office. I don't need to be reminded and I don't want to get that notification until I'm in the space to do something about it. So location-based notifications tied to the context of office help me to filter those things out and defer them until I'm ready to do something about them. Before you can assign a location to a context, you have to have at least one context set up in your OmniFocus database. If you want to learn more on how to set up contexts, there's detailed information in OmniFocus Premium Posts. It's a great resource, especially if you're new to OmniFocus. If you don't currently have a context set up in OmniFocus, you can create one by pressing the Context tab and then pressing the New Context button. Next, name your context. In this example, I've named my context Grocery Store. After you've named your context, press the Location tab and press None. This will allow you to choose a location for this context. There are several ways you can add a location to a context. First, you can select here. Selecting here makes your current location the location for this context. You would use this if you were already at the store, for example. Second, you can select anywhere. Selecting anywhere makes this context always available. This isn't very useful for our application of context, so we'll skip over this one for now. Third, you can select search. Selecting search allows you to enter a keyword to search for, such as a business name, like your local grocery store, as I'm going to do in this example. Fourth, you can select address. Selecting address allows you to enter the exact address if you know it already, such as your home or office address. Fifth, you can select contact. Selecting contact allows you to select the address from one of your contacts. For example, if you want to ask your mechanic a specific question next time you have your car into the shop, you could set a task with the context of garage or auto shop and select the location from the mechanic's address if it's in your contacts. Sixth, you can select pin. Selecting PIN allows you to press and hold to drop a PIN at the location of your choice and use this as a location for this context. Dropping PINs is a great way to remember certain locations you've never been before or don't know the name of. So those are the six ways you can add a location to a context in OmniFocus 2 for iPhone. In this example, I'm going to use the search method. I'm going to type in the name of our local grocery store. Hit the search button. And I'm going to assign this location to the context. Once you have the location for this context, you can choose whether or not to receive location-based notifications. You can choose one, to not receive location-based notifications, two, to receive notifications when arriving, or three, receive notifications when leaving. Receiving notifications when leaving can be useful when you need to remember to bring something with you. For example, once a month I need to bring an off-site backup drive from a fire safe in my garage into the office so we can back up our local network. And I have a notification when leaving my house to make sure I don't forget it. Getting our shopping list when we're leaving the store, however, won't do us much good. So in this example, we want to make sure when arriving is selected. 
You can also change the distance from the location you want OmniFocus to notify you from. According to the OmniFocus 2 for iPhone manual, the small dot is approximately 200 meters or 650 feet from the location. The middle dot is about 500 meters, about a quarter of a mile. And the large dot is about 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles. For most locations, the middle dot will work just fine. Lastly, when you have everything just the way you want it, make sure you hit the save button. Now that our context is set up to notify us when we arrive at the location, we can begin adding tasks using this context. The iPhone version of OmniFocus is great for this, as the iPhone is the perfect tool for capturing tasks. To do this, just press the Add Task button in the lower right corner of the OmniFocus home screen. Now we just have to fill in the details. We can do this now, or if you want to just quick capture, you can store it in your inbox and process it later. This is extremely helpful when you think of something you need to do, like a work-related task in my Leave Work at Work example, and don't have time or don't want to fully process that thought right now, but you don't want to forget about it either. Quick Capture stores it in your OmniFocus inbox so you can process it later. To finish creating the task, put in the task name, in this case, the name of the item on my shopping list, spaghetti sauce. Select the project, shopping list. And select our new grocery store context. That's it. Now when you go to the grocery store, an iOS notification will pop up reminding you to get spaghetti sauce. It's impossible to simulate a location-based notification like this firing in a live screencast, but this screen shows you what the notification will look like once you get to the location. There are obviously many possible uses for location-based notifications using contexts in OmniFocus 2 for iPhone, and we'd love to hear about how you're using them in the comments.